Hi guys, welcome back to Bunny Brick Designs. So it's been a couple days for you, it's been a few minutes for me. I went and gave my bunny some medicine. She's mad at me now. Um, so we're going to work on the last design for the curated bead box, um, Sunken Treasures. So I started out, I made, I had an idea for some earrings. I kind of liked the way that hung. And what I was thinking about doing, because I do want to add these, this as an earring, I was thinking about maybe doing um, two dangles. So like doing one and then maybe a piece of chain or two and doing a dangle and then having this sit on a chain. I don't know. I wanted it underneath this, but I haven't decided exactly how I want to do that. I may just do a, um, I may just end up making a, um, what do you call it? A loop with that. But the thing is, though, is I don't necessarily want this to be looped from that. I like this design. So we're going to have to come up with something really unique. Um, and I thought maybe doing some, maybe a little blue one on there, like that. And then maybe take this and... Do I have an additional? I don't have it. Oh, I do have two of those. And doing that and that and hanging both of those from chains and making it like a, almost like lanterns. That's going to be, that's the idea. All right. So let's see if we can make a loop. So first thing I'm going to do to make a loop is I'm going to have to cut one of these. Because I don't think I have, let me double check, I do not have any bronze eye pins. So I'm just going to take off that little ball and I am going to use my loopers here and just make a eye pin off of one of these. And I'm just going to make a small eye here um, doesn't have to be super big oops there we go All right, so that made my eye. It's not perfect, but it will it will do. Um, and then I'm going to use my loopers and make another loop for that. And then I may, I don't know if that will be long enough. because that makes a loop there. I don't know if this will be long enough. I may only have to destroy one head pin. And again, not a perfect loop, but good enough. Um, this, these head pins are a little thinner than I like, but all right, where did my other, there we go. that and that and I don't know if this will work to make another loop but we're gonna try oh and it did perfect all right so now I have and I'm gonna put it that way I think I'm gonna make a loop on this one and I need another eye pin if I have them head pin sorry I need another head pin 
to do my other this and this and a lava bead so while I was off camera I gave Bunny her meds she's very very mad at me huh um, very mad at me and that perfect And see, that just came out really wonky, but we'll fix that here. Um, like I said, this these wires are really soft. Um, all right, so there's that one. That one came out a little better. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to do, seeing that this is already open, I am going to hook on my um, and then we will hook on some chain. soon as I can get this one closed there we go all right so now I have my two components here done and my two components here done so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick I don't know a little bit of chain that I would think would look good I don't need a ton so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a chain about this long and just to cheat, I'm going to stick a pin in it, and I'm just going to cut so that I have a nice even length. And then because I know this is the, the odd length because I've got my head pin in it, or my eye pin or whatever, I'm just going to do that. Now I have two even lengths of chain without really measuring. What I want to do is I'm going to put one chain on this one and this eye pin is not completely closed so I'm just going to hook this on and close this oops I need my tweezer nose I think those would be better I've fallen in love with my whoops my tweezer nose pliers um, you just got to be careful you don't do just what I just did and crush your eye pin. All right, so I've got that on there. And now I'm going to take my, I'm going to call this my little chandelier, my little light fixture looking thing. And I'm going to hook it onto the other end of the chain. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. That is if I can get the chain on there. There we go. All right, so now I can hang this. Quite, I can qu kind of hang it like that so that the... so that it's asymmetrical and it's a pair of earrings. So I'm gonna do the other side and then we're gonna figure out exactly how many chains we need to put the ear. And I think I'm gonna use what came with the kit. I'm gonna use the, the um, lever backs. For this, if I can get a 
Okay, this guy's being feisty. He's being very feisty. There we go. There we go. There's one. Make sure he's closed. Especially when you're using small chain, make sure you do not have any gaps. Um, otherwise, they will they will come apart, and you definitely don't want to do that. All right. So now I've got my two components. And now I just got to figure out where, and maybe we do, do we want to do lever backs? These have little shells on them. Yes, we want to do the lever backs. Which means I am going to need a jump ring. Oh, wait, they do have, they are split. Oh, amazing. So, yep, the lever back is split. Perfect. So now I've got to figure out where I want to hang it. And I want this to be hanging, I don't know, do I want it like that? So I'm thinking, and I'm going to pinch it with the pliers. One more chain. Perfect. And I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's got to go in the eighth chain. So I'm going to hold on to that. I'm going to open this lever back up just a hair more. I'm going to slide that on. And I'm going to close the lever back. So there we go. So eight chains. Now the only other thing that I may need to, to do is if I'm going to be mirroring, I need to make sure that when I do this, that this is on the opposite side and facing the right way. So the long part there, so I need to count eight. One, two, three, four. First of all, I'm gonna open my lever back just to make this light make my life easier. All right, we've got that open. And now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's my eighth one right there and I need to hang it going this way yes perfect and there we go so there's a fun pair of woo, as I throw things away there is a fun pair of sunken treasure earrings um, perfect so there's a pair of earrings now for the necklace again I'm breaking the rules I've got beads from the curated bead box beads from the bargain bead box um, mostly bar mostly bargain here few from the curated I'm going to take a nice long piece of beetle on and I am going to start stringing this on now one of the things that I may need to do and I have it here I just pulled it off outside of the camera is the turtle the the turtle butt I will call him the beads don't sit very well um like the bigger beads don't sit very well in there. So what I may need to do in order to fill in so you don't see wire is I may need to do some seed beads and that's fine. So I'm just stringing on first of all five of the, the crystal beads from the curated and then a brown from the curated, the stone from the bargain, and I'm 
And I don't know if this tiger tail is going to be long enough. Um, ooh, paint. Um, there was some paint in that. So when they patina the, the, these, these things, they literally just take teal paint and paint on them and then wipe them off and then seal them. So in the centers, sometimes you'll get extra paint. All right, moment of truth. So I've got one of these um, lava beads. Ooh. And I'm going to see if the lava bead will sit between. And it doesn't. As you can see, there's a little gap there where I can see the wire. I don't like that. I don't want to see the wire. So I'm going to take one of these um, Preciosa beads. And these are opaque cream tavertine which will go well with the coloring and I'm going to stick that on there which should fit right between his legs as you can see that fills in the space so that there is no um, there is no gap now because I want to make this look uniform I'm gonna put one up by his face and I'm going to put a lava bead here right there so that looks like it's a it's supposed to be that way um, so that's a little trick that you can use to fill in things when you have odd shaped beads grab some seed beads grab something very very tiny a what two millimeter bead and fill in and I don't think I'm going to have enough wire for this um, I may not have enough wire this may not be long enough because I'm already slowly running out um, okay so now we do lava bead one of these brown beads turtle head facing in brown seed bead and making sure it goes right up into I call his butt <laughs> um, but right up between the legs of the turtle and there you go so now that oops and I already had a lava bead um, that looks like it's meant to be. So, I mean, I had a lot of fun with this. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. There's, looks like there's paint in there. I'm going to actually take a piece of eye pin and just kind of work it around in there and see there you go so there's there's the paint chips that comes out so that that way it's not going to come out um, when you go to sell it or when you go to wear it you know just double check that And anyways, as I was saying, there was, um, I had a lot of fun with these, with this month's bead boxes. While I haven't used all of the beads, I used quite a bit, um, and I think I want to make some, something with this, maybe bead, bead woven or, um, bead embroidery, I mean, I did do some bead embroidery. I didn't do it on camera um, just because it took, and in all honesty, when I was working on that, I worked on that 
between the unboxing and the one of the first videos, it took several days to make. And I had enough to string on. Let me see. That's going to be a choker size necklace. So I'm going to make this a little bit longer by pulling in lava beads, brown beads, lava bead, and just keep doing this until I have, I don't know, um, six or seven lava beads, just because I think that would make it a fun um, ending to the necklace. I actually like that better. To be honest, I like that better than I like the white. But I'm going to leave the white in there just because um, eh, maybe not. Maybe not. I think, I think I'm going to take the white off just because I like I'm liking the brown better. So I'm going to do this travertine bead with the bronze lava beads. Now I use I use bronze I use lava beads in a lot of things um that I do um that I don't necessarily do on camera but I have um jewelry that I make that I do um like oh god scented essential oils bracelets and I'll use lava beads so like I could save these lava beads but I'm really liking, I'm liking this with the, um, with the travertine beads. So I'm just going to take and do, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, I'll do nine, so... And see how long that is. Seven. Eight. And nine. And we're going to crimp that and then put the, and go do the other side. Now I took off the bargain, or I took off the beads that were from the curated bead box on this one. Um, just because I liked the seed beads better, I'm going to, um, I may use those in there somewhere. I may, I don't know. I'd like to do another necklace with the remaining, um, blues and greens that I have. And maybe this doesn't become a multi-strand. Maybe this becomes two separate necklaces. Um, or if we do do a multi-strand, maybe we do just some really unique design. One, two, three, four. I got a ways to go. So the other thing that um, I have, and I don't know if I've mentioned it, I might have mentioned it in a previous video, but I'll mention it again. I created a poll in, I think it's the community page on this YouTube channel, um, asking you guys what you'd like to see more of, um, whether it's wire wrapping, bead weaving, um, bead embroidery, shibori, um And I think it was like three questions of, do you want to see more of this, more of this, more of this, or other? Um, and if you guys suggest other, I may put a, another poll out there that will allow you to fill in what you'd like to see. 
All right, there's nine. Let me see how that hangs. Yeah, we're going to do a few more. Um, I'm going to do 11 on each side, I think, and see how that goes. And see, now I'm really liking this because now this really looks like the bottom of the sea. This definitely looks like a sunken treasure. Um, and so this was definitely what I was going for with these turtles. The other thing I don't know if you've noticed on my videos is I finally hit a, the, the 3,000 watch hour milestone, um, which allowed me to turn on like super chats and super thanks and some of those other things, um, and badges and, and some other fun things for my, my viewers, um, which also helps me, um, it helps to support my channel. Oh, that's perfect. That is exactly the perfect length. So check out, check out all that stuff. Um, you know, I'm, Really hoping to hit the next milestone. I was really looking for that one, which is a uh, thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours. So you know, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And you know, if you watch my videos, give me a thumbs up. It helps other people find my videos. Um, and you know, I want to keep doing this for you. So. Um, you know, the more viewers I get, the more I can share um, additional content and new, ex new and exciting things. All right, I need to get some crimp beads because apparently I put all my brown stuff away. And I'm just going to grab some gunmetal um, crimp beads because I've got a gunmetal there, but I'll grab some more. I'm really liking this necklace. This really came out better than I had expected. Um, and as you can tell, this was one of the pieces that I was using from um, the previous video where I had cut a little I, I cut it really long and then um this was basically a scrap if you will and so um I got a whole necklace out of this scrap so it didn't go to waste but because I was making a multi-strand and I wasn't exactly sure how long I needed the other ones to be doing it super long is better than doing it not long enough. Um, and what I didn't want to do was cut it two or three inches longer than I wanted and then end up with a, um, with a piece of, you know, beading wire that's like this long because it's, that's useless. Um, and while I'm going to have that here, you know, that's after making three necklaces with this strand. And this part here is kind of messed up anyways. So um, it feels kind of crimped. So like I, I crimped it in, in the uh, bead stopper and it... All right. I do want to make sure this stays bendy. But I don't want it too loose. Especially because I have those turtles on there, and what I don't want to do is have things super tight up against the turtle. All right, so now we are done with this. We can put, I think we're going to do a toggle clasp on this one. I'm not going to do a multi strand. Um, I think I am just going to do a 
jump ring and a toggle clasp and we are going to make a necklace so i need some bronze jump rings smaller ones i want some smaller jump rings here and We'll put one on one side. And put one on this side. And we are golden. And by golden, I mean bright orange. No. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I cracked myself up, but Anyways, so that, that, I really like that. That reminds me of the bottom of the scene. I'm going to set these aside just to show you this. Just because this reminds me of, um, this definitely reminds me of Sunken Treasure. So we made the necklace, and then we've also made the pair of earrings, which doesn't necessarily go with the necklace. It's just a pair of earrings. Um, I think I'm going to make a necklace that is going to go with these earrings and use up the remainder of the chain here because I've got this much chain left. So that can give me a nice chain necklace to go with these earrings. And um, I'm going to do that off camera and then I will be back in the next one with a showcase to show you everything that I made with the bead boxes um, and then some of the other things that I've been doing off camera and um, yeah so anyways turtles sunken treasure turtle necklace anyways I hope you enjoyed it um, thanks for hanging out with me tonight, and I'm just fixing this. I don't like my crimp beads being, like, not perfectly matched up. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one, and, um, hopefully this inspired you. So, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.